Hey YouTube, Bob here. Back in 2012, I started a playlist of videos called Nintendo Unboxed, in which I unboxed uh, Japanese and U.S. Nintendo consoles from their original packaging. And uh, this video is kind of related, uh, the series of videos actually. It's going to be called uh, Nintendo Torn Down. And if you don't know what a teardown is, at least in the world of electronics, that's basically just kind of a fun way to say taking something apart. And uh, there are a lot of practical reasons for taking apart a piece of electronics to repair it, to clean it, etc. But this series of videos is uh, just basically going to be for entertainment purposes, to see some of the inner components of Nintendo consoles. And I do want to say that you always want to exercise caution and care when you're taking apart any piece of electronics. You want to make sure that you don't damage any components. You want to make sure that you get all the screws back in their proper places. And uh, with that said, I just want to put a little disclaimer in the video saying that uh, this series of videos is just for demonstration purposes. Please don't try any of this unless you feel confident in your skills of taking things apart. And by the way, I'm no expert, I'm just a fan. A lot of the uh, knowledge that I'm sharing with you here is based on things that I've read, videos I've seen on YouTube, etc. So basically, for uh, taking apart a Nintendo console, you're going to need uh, a few pieces of hardware. I would recommend, at least for early uh, Nintendo consoles, a medium sized standard uh, Phillips screwdriver. And for the uh, later consoles and for cartridges, you're going to need something called a game bit. And uh, the game bit uh, was a security measure that Nintendo implemented mm, about halfway through the NES's life to make it a little bit more difficult to, uh, for the average consumer to open up some of their products, particularly game cartridges for cleaning purposes. But now that the internet is around, it's very easy to get a game bit. Just as easy as it would be to get any standard screwdriver. But anyway, what you're going to need are two sizes of game bits. And you can get these on Amazon, you can get them on eBay, etc. You're going to need a 3.8 millimeter game bit, which is the smaller one, and a 4.5 millimeter game bit, which is the larger one. And uh, the larger one is typically for taking out the screws in a console, and the smaller one is typically for taking out the screws in a cartridge, for cartridge-based consoles. And these are just the bits. They don't have the handles on them. You'll need some sort of uh, screwdriver handle to insert the bits into. Another set of hardware that I recommend are a set of precision screwdrivers or jeweler, uh, jeweler screwdrivers. These are just very small Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. Nintendo's more recent console, starting with the GameCube controller, they started using tri-wing uh, tri screws. And tri-wing screws look a lot like Phillips screws, but they're only able to be uh, taken out with uh, this unique screwdriver called a tri-wing. And again, that's something you can find on Amazon or eBay. Something else I recommend is a small container to put the screws that you've taken out into so that you don't lose them. And actually, the best way to do this, especially when you're uh, dealing with a, uh, 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 the external part of a console, a lot of times the screws are inside little recessed areas that are molded into the plastic, and that's on the cover that you remove. So I would recommend just keeping the screws inside of those recessed areas, and then you'll know exactly where they're supposed to go when you attempt to put it back together. So this video is going to consist of several parts. I'm going to be taking a look first at the uh, original Famicom and NES and comparing their internal components. Also going to be taking a look at some of the cartridges for those systems. Next video will be the redesigned NES and the redesigned Famicom. The following video will be the original Super Famicom and the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And we'll be taking a look at uh, some of the cartridges for those systems as well followed by the redesigned Super Famicom and Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And then the last two will be the N64 and the GameCube. And I'm not going to be comparing the Japanese and U.S. versions for the N64 or the GameCube because they're pretty much identical. And so, I hope you look forward to this next series of videos. And without further ado, I present to you the first part, the Japanese Famicom and the U.S. Nintendo Entertainment System.